Hello you guys. Wish you all a beautiful day and a good health. Today I brought you a very special game between two legends. Mikhail Tal of Latvia and Gary Kasparov of Russia. This is a very special game because after this game nearly after one month, Mikhail Tal took his last breath in Moscow hospital. So let's just dive into the depth of this game. So Mikhail Tal has a white piece and he opens the game with e4 so e4 covers the d5 and f5 square so anything landed here it will be gone and here gary Kaspar replied this c5 this is land defense and it doesn't allow to go d4 to have a strong center and now we have knight to f3 controlling the d4 square and d6 and here white can actually go d4 to have an open sicilian and can have a black with knight to f6 and a6 to have a knight of defense here but here Mikhail Tal chooses bishop to b5 check which is known as a canal attack and also an anti-Sicilian approach. Now why it is actually called an anti-Sicilian approach? Because the idea, strategy and the structure resembles the Royal Lopez than the Sicilian. Like in Royal Lopez you go e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6 and bishop to b5. And this structure actually resembles the canal attack. So after bishop to b5, there are mainly three things black can do here. Either play knight to c6 or go knight to d7 or play bishop to d7. And here Gary Kasparov chooses knight to d7. And now Tal plays d4 striking in the center and here Gary Kasparov plays knight to f6. So it doesn't reacting the d4 here and attacking the e4 pawn here. And here Tal offers the e4 pawn with castles here and now question for you guys is it possible to grab this e4 pawn the answer is no it is not possible to grab this e4 pawn here because after taking you have rook to e1 and let's say after knight back to f6 here you have pawn takes and pawn takes and here the brilliant knight to g5 here if you try to kick it away with s6 here you just grab the pawn here and after king takes you have bishop check here and now if you king move the king forward here you're just made in three here after check here takes and back and this will be a mate here and here if you try to let's say go let's say here after check you go back here your king will be struck in the center and you will have a very bad play here so gary kaspar doesn't take the pawn in place a6 we have bishop takes knight here and now knight takes bishop now Tal develops the knight via knight to c3 and now e6 so he wants to develop his bishop via bishop to e7. Now we have bishop to g5 so attacking the queen here. You can play f6 here but here Gary Kaspar chooses queen to c7 and now we have rook to e1. And now Gary Kaspar creates the central pawn with c takes d4 and here you can either take with the knight or a queen here and here Tal decides to take with Knight takes d4 and a very good move by Gary Kasparov. Knight to e5 and provoking f4 here, which Mikhail Tal goes for. After f4, the idea of Gary Kasparov is not actually to move the knight back or play knight to c4 here, it is actually to play at 6 here. Because if you just allow the trade with pawn takes and pawn takes, it is actually losing after pawn takes and bishop takes you have just allowed too much attack on the king's side and you will lose the game. So Tal sees in place bishop to h4 and now again a very good move by Gary Gasparov. g5. You can't just take the pawn here because after taking the takes you just can play bishop to here, here, castle, king's side and you can just have too much attack on the king's side here from black here. So Mikhail Tal saw it and now he plays f takes e5 because this time this is different because here his bishop was there because after takes here you will have an open file but this time you will not have an open file so we have g takes h4 and now we have e takes d6 and now bishop takes d6 and now this h2 pawn is being threatened but will you care if you are Mikhail Tal no right just go knight to d5. So with knight to d5, Tal wants to keep the black king in the center or uncastled here. So it actually happens in the game. We have e takes d5 and now we have pawn takes d5. So king goes to king to f8. And here after queen to f3, magically this is the 17 move of the game. And here Mikhail Tal won. And the funny thing is that Gary Kaspar is actually winning this game. And here Mikhail Tal actually won this game. Not by 17 but 
more of the moves here. So this is the Blitz game and this was actually taken from Gary Kaspar book. So we don't know how many moves this game has gone but Mikhail Tal actually won the game here. So this was the last game played by Mikhail Tal and the greatest of all time Gary Kaspar. So if you like the video like and subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for the more updates.